Whereas a common mistake is a mistake by both parties about something in the contract, like who did the painting, mutual mistake occurs where the parties believe they have an agreement, but they actually don't have an agreement. There's been no meeting of minds, and they're both mistaken about that. For mutual mistake to be made out that there are two elements, the contract must be conditional upon a truth of a view held by each of the parties. And the belief held by each party must be a different belief. Now, that sounds a bit confusing, but a case can help us out. So in the case of Raffles and Witchell House, Raffles agrees to uh, sell some cotton to Witchell House. Or to put it another way, Witchell House agrees to, to buy some cotton from Raffles. So we have this cotton, and of course that will lead to money going this way. And it was to be delivered by a ship called the Peerless. So we'd uh, have uh, our boat delivering the cotton. Now, the problem here was that there are actually two ships by the name of Peerless coming from Bombay. One was coming in October, and that's the one W was talking about, and one was coming in December, and that's the one that Raffles was talking about. Now, I hope you can see by this particular example that we have, in fact, parties having a contract. The contract is conditional, conditional upon their belief about which boat was coming. One thought it was the October peerless boat and one thought it was the December peerless boat. So the contract's only in place based upon their belief that it's this October one for W and the December one for R. And when that belief that the subject of their contract was this peerless boat coming from Bombay, but one believed it was coming in October and one believed it was coming in December, that we have a mutual mistake and the contract is void.